Hi, I'm Mike Sikach here. I'm the owner and designer at the Tent Lab. We make the Deuce of Spades poop trowels, and I wanted to show you how to use one, how to make your perfect hole. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I also wanted to talk about why we're here. Uh, leave no trace is a great reason to, to want to bury your poop. Uh, you know, no one likes going up in the mountains and, and seeing some poop on the ground or campfire rings or a whole bunch of other things, trash. Uh, but it's not just uh, leave no trace, it's also a major health concern. So the microbes that live in us that come out in poop are uniquely adapted to thrive in us and cause us problems, diarrhea and other diseases, especially when you start talking about parasites like worms and protozoa like giardia and stuff. So it's super important that you bury your poop correctly and keep all that in the ground where the bacteria that are there can f essentially feast on your bacteria and turn your poop into a great soil. Okay, let's go dig a hole. Okay, the rules for where you put a poop hole are actually pretty simple. Uh, 200 feet from camp, water, or trails. So here I've got my, my deuce kit and taking my paces and this is not going to work very well here. This is some terrible ground for trying to dig a poop hole in. It's all rock. But if you look over there, we've got some aspen and it's uh, not on the top of the hill. And uh, that means that probably there's a very good chance we'll find a good place to dig a hole right over there. Oh, what luck. We just saw that the top of this hill was bad for drinking a poop hole. And look what I just found. How lovely. The campers here just couldn't be bothered to take proper distance and find actual soil to dig a poop hole in. Nice. Great. So here's some advice while we're walking over doing our 70 paces. Why not make it 100 after all? Um, for parents with young kids, I highly recommend that each parent have one of these in case you're separated. Uh, you won't be left stranded without a way to big, dig a hole. Uh, nothing strikes panic into the heart of a parent faster than your little one going, I gotta go poo! And you have no way of making a proper poop hole. The other little piece of advice probably anyone could use is uh, when you're setting up camp, go dig a poop hole. That way, if anybody needs to go quickly, there's one already. Uh, hey, what do you know? Looks like we found ourselves a good place. Right there. Okay, so this looks good. Uh, the very first thing you want to do with a deuce, though, is use one of its most unusual functions, and that is you hold it upside down, and you're going to probe for rocks. So that's good. And uh, we're going to make a hole about yay big. And you can just check to make sure you're not wasting all your time real early on by using the small end, the handle end. Okay, that's looking pretty good. No problem there. All right, These, there's also some ridges here, which, you know, in this mode means you're getting a little more friction. But in this mode, it's particularly interesting that it actually works like a saw in dirt wasn't supposed to do that. It just does. So we're going to make a plug and pull the whole top out as one big piece. So it makes a really good leave no trace plug. So we just pull that whole thing out and there's the start of our hole. Scoop side. And it's the scooping that really shows you the difference between trying to do this with a tent stake or trekking pole, for heaven's sakes. It just doesn't work. Okay, the, the teeth on here are not for sawing things up. Remember, we're in to leave no trace. They're so when you nick, you can nick and then push through small roots. If it was smooth, 
there's a good chance it would just slide off slide the root to one side okay with these trowels they can take a lot of force doing this with them but you don't want to ever be in a position where you're prying them that way because this u-shape pending it this way that's its weakest direction okay uh, this is uh, almost seven inches long so when we get it right now it's about to here when we get it as deep as the trowel is tall then we've got the right depth hole um, And I think that's what's responsible for most of the toilet paper you see on the surface is people either not burying at all or not burying very deeply. And uh, of course you probably already know you don't pull up a rock and poop under it because the rock itself protects the poop from decomposing. You need water percolating from the surface to do it. And there we are, finally. Full depth. So this one's about seven inches deep, this hole. Okay. Uh, I was gonna put in that uh, stuff that we had from before, that, that poop, all that toilet paper that we just saw walking over here, but um, it turns out that it was all uh, wipes. So they're not, they're not compostable, they won't decay. So I've actually gotta take those and uh, take them home and throw them away. So now we're ready to use our hole. Up. Oh. What? No five second rule? Okay, so we've dug our hole six to eight inches deep. Uh, full leave no trace depth of in forest materials. And now it's time to uh, cover over our poop and our toilet paper and they can both happily become uh, a full class citizen soil of the future. Uh, all nice and uh, and sanitized by all the microbes and insects that are around it right now. So next we just we fill in the hole and we make it so that you can't tell that anything has happened on the top. Leave no down. First rainfall Okay, let's talk about this stuff. Toilet paper, friend or foe. There's been kind of a, a groundswell of uh, people talking about packing out their toilet paper from the back country. And while that in and of itself isn't, isn't a bad thing, uh, I would maintain that it's, it's a completely unnecessary thing most of the time. In the desert, you have to pack it out, sure. But when we're talking about forests with biological soil and everything's going to decompose, toilet paper makes great soil too. There's nothing wrong with it. When you see toilet paper on the ground, it's not the toilet paper that should be offending you. It's the fact that somebody did not dispose of their poop properly. In fact, if anything, it's, you sh it's a great warning that somebody has just contaminated the area. So it's, a, it's the messenger don't need to shoot the messenger if it all we cared about was the aesthetics here watch I got I got it right here brown toilet paper greatest idea ever right three two one no it's the worst idea ever this would encourage people to not bury their poop properly um, and in fact uh, you know in a perverse way this whole carry out your toilet paper you know people human nature is a funny thing if you feel you're doing something extra special good in one arena one part then maybe you cut yourself a little break like for instance if the hole's extra hard to dig maybe you don't go the full six inches deep maybe four is enough so I think in a perverse way this fixation on toilet paper and carrying it out is uh, potentially even a little bit negative that's my two cents anyway thanks for watching the video Toodles.
doctor. Number three, please. Thank you. This is our number three trowel, which is a real beast. Okay, what I'm about to do, I don't want you to do abuse. Here, give me that. Okay, with these trowels, they can take a lot of force doing this with them, but you don't want to ever be in a position where you're prying them that way because this U-shape, prending it this way, that's its weakest direction. But check this out. This is our number three. <laughs> I would not do this on a number two. And a number one, it would just crumple. Okay. Notice that I'm making a little bit of a mark there. And you can, with any rock, especially a, a river stone, you can smooth it right back out. So if you do cause a burr, that's really easy to fix. Okay, number three scoop is big. Notice that I'm still able to pull dirt out of the bottom because I've kept the handle. I designed this thing with a handle that's quite small. <laughs> 